Hey guys, this is Viral here. I'm doing a walkthrough on Pokemon Fire Red version. Hopefully this will be a little bit more interesting than the trading card game. I was originally going to choose the red version, but wanted to see what the new graphics are like from the remakes. This is interesting. Showing with the controls but for a DS or a Game Boy Advance, but not a computer. So it's not very useful. The usual Professor Oak introduction. This is disturbing. He should know what I am from just looking at me. He's speaking to me right now. Anyway, I'll go for the boy. And of course, my name will be Viral, as usual. Unlike the trading card game, I can use lowercase letters as well. It's always a plus. Seeing as Syndicate named his rival after me, I'll do the same for him. Let's see if this can fit. Ooh. No, it's not going to fit. Go with Danny then as an alternative. Sorry, I'm still getting used to the controller, so... Yep, it was Danny. Had to remind him of his own grandson's name. And let the Pokemon adventure begin. Hmm, it's a Nez now, instead of a Snez. So we've downgraded in the remake. Interesting. Going for the potion as always. Luckily they haven't taken that out of the game. Just increasing the text speed, so they have to keep using the speed hack. Does it save automatically? Hmm. Let's just check. That's fine. Oops. Speak to my mum. The spelling is wrong. It should be the English version of the game. Leaving home at the age of 10 fight with monsters and like back gardens or something, I don't know. I wonder if he ever gets bored of chasing people out into the grass. Sorry Syndicate, but I'll be getting the first choice. Not going to go with the Bulbasaur. Reza's taking that one. And I'll probably have a Gyarados as my water Pokemon, so say no to that. And I'll go with the usual Charmander. Just give it a nickname. Let's see. Always change it later, so something quick and easy now. Hmm. Let's just go with the capital Char. Or no, Pyro. Let's go with Pyro for now. So 
Sorry, there wasn't much time to think of a nickname there. Hopefully that one's alright for now. Danny being a little cheat is going for the Squirtle there. Let's see if we can take a Pokedex. Uh, pages are blank, so hopefully by the time we come back, Professor Oak will have written in them. And my first match with Danny. I nearly beat him on his walkthrough, so let's see if, if I can do the same again. I'm being told how to play the Pokemon game. Let's go to some speed hacks. Just gonna keep attacking with Scratch and hopefully kill his Squirtle. A much easier battle than Syndicate's one against me. Clean victory. Hopefully the sound's a lot better on this one. I'm using a different computer this time. Uh, I haven't got my running shoes yet. There's a free potion. I've got two of those now. Now he's telling me to go to the Pokemon Nut. See, they have any trading cards there? Which surprisingly they don't. They probably should add that in one of the later games. I'll definitely be catching a Pidgey when I get some balls. Pokeballs, that is. I have the other ones, don't worry. Speed hacks. I'll be using speed hacks in most of the battles, so you don't have to watch everything over and over again. Right now I'm not able to catch them, so I'll just be beating them with Scratch, hopefully. And the sound in the background, probably Reason. Now level 7, and I've learned Ember, on my way for a Charizard, which will definitely be one of the highlights of my team. Go heal my Charmander up, or Pyro, sorry. Doesn't seem to be a very fast speed hack. Oops. Entering the Pokemon Mart. And I'm running Errand Boy for Professor Oak. I remember in one of the games, I think it was Gold Silver Crystal, I had to deliver an egg to him, I think. Let's avoid the Pokemon for now. And just delivering the parcel back to Professor Oak. Charmander's apparently growing to me day by day. I've had it for about two minutes though. I'll be finishing up very soon. Just gonna get my Pokedex, I think it is. Or my encyclopedia. Okay, we both got one. It's lucky he had two of them. I don't think he's got one for himself now, which is probably not the best thing since he is a professor. And I've got five balls to use for Pokemon.
If you want, you can suggest the team for me, and I'll try and, if I like it, I'll catch those Pokemon along the way. But for now, I'm going to save it here, and I'll start back on the way to Viridian Forest in the next part. Thanks for watching.